Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Shift with Anne. Today I want to share with you a list of 10 things that you can do, uh, action steps to change your mindset. These were shared with me by my fabulous friend Lynette Molina from Chicks Connect, um, a networking group, Arizona Chicks Connect. I thank God every day for them. They are amazing. It's a wonderful group to belong to. And she shared these with us a few weeks back and I just really love them. Um, I can't say enough about them and I agree with every single one of them. So these are action steps for a better mindset. So I'm just gonna start from the top. Number one, decide to change. When you're feeling crummy, you just gotta admit it and acknowledge it and then decide that you're gonna change it. I think this is great advice. Uh, something we can, you know, it's a great way to start. And just notice, observe, um, and become aware and then decide that you're gonna shift it. Keyword, shift. <laughs> Number two, prayer, meditation, and yoga. Uh, yoga is uh, something that can truly change your life. I have a hard time with it. I tend to cry when I do it. <laughs> I don't know why, it just makes me go deep and definitely is emotional for me. But um, prayer, you can't go wrong with some prayer uh, and some meditation. Go inside and just find out what's going on in there and uh, take a moment to readjust. Maybe do some visualization and imagine something wonderful and beautiful to shift your mindset. Uh, number three, a gratitude journal. I think that everybody out there should have a gratitude journal and it's something you should write in daily, especially at the top of your day. Um, I highly recommend that you just take a moment to um, be grateful for something that you have in your life, for when God or the universe or whatever you want to call that higher power uh, gives gifts, it expects you to appreciate them. Otherwise, it can't, you can't be trusted with more. So make sure you're grateful for the things that you have. Um, you know, I am so grateful for my dog. I just love that dog. And whenever I'm feeling crummy, I just think how grateful I am that he's here um, forever, however much longer he's going to be here, and that uh, he's brought me so much joy. I just love that guy, even though he tends to eat things that are not food. <laughs> it still makes for a good story, right? Um, number four, smile and laughter. Can't go wrong with that. I appreciate those people who make me laugh more than anything else in my life. I love to laugh. Um, there's a few people in my life that I just think are so funny and I love laughing with you and uh, thank you for that and definitely just put on something funny. Maybe watch a comedy show or um, a video that makes you laugh. Crazy cat videos are always good. <laughs> Dogs, children, find something that makes you smile and laugh. Uh, number five, stop comparison. I think this is huge. And I think it's something we all do in this modern world, especially when we're scrolling through social media. Um, we have a tendency to compare our lives to others. And we have to remember that, you know, people are just putting out their best stuff. And uh, I have a hard time with um, Instagram in particular. I don't know what it is about it. <laughs> it makes me crazy. I just get depressed when I do it. So I don't do it so much anymore. Um, I'll scroll a little bit, see how my friends are doing. And uh, Keep it at that because, uh, you know, you are you and you're living your row, you know, you're on your own path and we need to just appreciate that and stop comparing ourselves to others. Um, number six, uh, remind yourself that you are in control, that you can change your thought patterns and that, uh, you know, just give yourself a little reminder that you are in control. Number seven, focus on helping others. I love this. I think it's the perfect way to change anything. Just take the focus off of yourself. Someone else has it worse. Find a way to help others and you're gonna feel better immediately and more effective and more needed. Um, I heard a story about some people who were depressed and they were um, spending a lot of time alone. They were feeling rather shut, you know, like a shut in, somebody who, you know, wasn't going out. And so there was a person, they were diagnosed uh, with something, they were put on medication, but their other prescription was to get together with other people and create a garden. And as the garden grew, so did the people. So get out there and help others and, uh, you know, find a way to uh, come together 
and um, you'll find that you're helping yourself as well. Uh, number eight, surround yourself with positive people. This is key. You need to tiptoe backwards when somebody's a complainer every day, every day, every day, every day. So, you know, sometimes, yeah, we have a little bit of venting, one of my favorite words. Um, but, you know, try to surround yourself with positive people. Um, and that just brings me back to my friend, uh, Lynette. Uh, I just want to say thank you for being such a positive influence in my life um, and the Chicks Connect uh, in general. I just love those Thursday mornings. Um, number nine, my absolute favorite, my personal favorite music, song, and dance. You can't stay in a bad mood if you're singing at the top of your lungs. Uh, a little Bruno Mars oh, goes a long way. <laughs> or Justin Timberlake, you know. I just dun, 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 dance, 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 dance. Start moving it around. Next thing you know, you're smiling and laughing and having a good time. So just play some music that makes you feel good. Don't go into that, you know. Don't play any, um, I don't know. Don't play the sad songs. Um, although those can sometimes help as well. Just to, you know, be expressive. Uh, number 10, read positive stuff. There's so much material out there that can uplift your spirits. Um, find a YouTube video that's encouraging. Uh, read the good book. Uh, read something by uh, one of your favorite uh, encouragers, Tony Robbins, Bob Proctor, um, Esther Hicks, um, uh, Napoleon Hill. Sorry, I was going to say Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I guess you could do that too. Um, but definitely there's a lot of reading to be had out there that can really change your mind. Um, so go after that as well. Um, so that's the top 10 action steps for a better mindset as a uh, explained by me, but uh, uh, the original list came from Lynette Molina from the Arizona Chicks Connect. Um, if you're interested, look them up on Facebook. They're an amazing group of women um, who are supportive of each other, full of love and uh, happiness and joy. And so uh, I just want to say have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>